gizmos are 3d meshes or lines that can be drawn in your scene view which help in visual debugging and level creation process since artists and designers are more visual in their approach to game development they really appreciate if the parameters in your script are also uh, represented inside your scene view as a 3d object uh, gizmos are extremely helpful when you are working with the physics system for example if you have an ai which uses ray cast for obstacle detection or path finding then these gizmos can be used to show the actual physics ray cast in your scene view so that uh, you can debug your physics systems when we are using gizmos we don't have the interactive feature of handles so gizmos are just a representation of the values in our script we can't use gizmos to change values in our script but gizmos are easier to write than handles you don't even need a editor script to write gizmos you can write the gizmos directly inside your normal script for example you can take the ai script and write gizmos inside this script i will use the same ai script that i have used in the previous video where i talked about handles i have just uh, deactivated the custom inspector for the ai script so there are uh, no handles which are drawn in the scene view we will try to draw as many things that are possible just using gizmos that we uh, have drawn using handles in our previous video now there are two functions inside which you can write your gizmo function calls the first one is void on draw gizmos and all your gizmos function will go inside this function and the next one is on draw gizmos selected the only difference between these two functions is that any gizmo written inside the on draw gizmos function will be always shown inside the scene view even if your object is not selected and in the case of on draw gizmos selected function any gizmo written here will be only shown in the scene view when you have selected that object so if you don't want to clutter your scene view you write your gizmos in here or if you have something very important as your gizmo for example if you have icons for your gizmos like the light icon for our directional light these things you can draw it inside your uh, the on draw gizmo function where it will always be shown inside the scene view and for some controls like uh, if you are drawing uh, the nodes for our ai path travel node travel system you can write it inside the on draw gizmo selected function our first uh, variable is the area radius which represents a radius around the ai in which if the player comes the ai will be activated or it will start atta attacking the player so to represent that area visually inside the uh, visually in the scene we can use the gizmo called draw wire sphere if it is a 3d game we can draw a sphere if it is a 2d game we can draw a circle so the arguments for draw sphere is the center of the sphere and the radius so we will keep the center same as the center for ob object which is transform the position and for radius we will keep it equal to the area radius so that there is a one to one correlation between the radius value in our script to the sphere that is drawn inside our scene view so now we if we come to our screen we can see a wire sphere is drawn and if we change the area radius the size of the sphere changes the next important gizmos function is the draw line function draw line can be used to represent speed inside our scene view and we can change the length of our line based on the ai speed 
so what we can write is gizmo stores scroll on and it takes two argument which are uh, the starting point of the line and the end point of the line so we'll start from the object transform the position and let's make it in the direction in which the AI is moving the direction would be transform dot forward so the next position would be transform dot position plus uh, the direction which is transform dot forward and the length um, the length of the line would be let's make it directly equal to the speed so when we come to the scene view it draws a we can see a line which originates from the AI game object and the length of this line depends on the speed so if a designer uh, is looking at the AI it can directly guess the speed of the AI based on the this drawn line now one more thing here is that you can change the color with which your gizmos are drawn using the gizmos dot color variable it is same as how you have used GUI dot color to change the color of a GUI element so let's make it blue and after we are, are done drawing we will revert back the color to its original color which is color dot white now the speed line is in color blue in our AI script node points are arrays of 3d points in which the AI is continuously moving from a node to another node to represent this node inside our scene view we can use a simple solid sphere gizmo which will be drawn at the exact location of our nodes and we can even connect these nodes using the draw line function so we'll write inside our own draw gizmos function a for loop similar to how we used uh, the handles the handles function to draw our node points so int the for loop is same as our handles tutorial and instead of uh, drawing a handles dot position handle we will simply draw a gizmo dot draw sphere the position would be at the node point and let's give it a small radius of 0.2 And this of point two f is too small, so let's increase it to point five f and change the color to yellow. Then revert it back to white. Now you can see all those five node points are represented by these five spheres inside our scene view so the designer and or artist can actually see inside the scene uh, where the AI is going to move with respect to other game objects in the scene now to form a connection between these nodes so that we can visualize the path the AI will take when it will travel between nodes we can make a simple for loop similar to our uh, similar to what we did in our with handles and we will just go over all those points and connect them together gizmos dot draw line and the first point is node point the first point and we'll pick the next point in the array and just taking care that when we reach the last point then our next point is the first that is the 0th point in the array for that what we can do is simply write math of dot repeat and the 
length would be more pronounced right this way our next element that is the i plus 1 will never exceed the array length and it will return back to the zeroth element yeah and just like how we did in the handles tutorial you have to convert the return value to an int as an array index So this will draw nice lines between the these nodes. So we can see where the AI is going to travel. We can make sure that there are no obstacles in the AI path. And we can still uh, change these node values by simply changing the values from our inspector. The last gizmo that I will talk about is the draw icon gizmo which can be used to draw an icon near your game objects this way you can quickly find the game objects of particular type like you can find all your AIs very quickly in the asset menu in the, your scene view so to draw a gizmo what you have to do is use the function gizmos.drawIcon and the center would be the position that you want the gizmo to be drawn let's make it same as our object so that will be transform dot position and the string name is the name of the name of the image file that you want to use as an icon the requirement for this image file is that it should be placed inside a folder named gizmos directly inside your assets folder so i have created a gizmos folder i have added a skull icon png image so I will go inside the draw icon function and write its name exactly as skull icon dot png. Now uh, it will only search in the gizmos folder. So make sure all your all your icons are stored inside the a folder named gizmos. Now when you look at our dinosaur game object, you can see a nice icon with our game object. Similar to these are some more functions in our, the gizmos class like you can draw a cube or a fresh term you can even draw a mesh or a ray for uh, example debugging your ray cast and these gizmos can really help you in quickly finding bugs in your program they also make life easier for your designers in the level creation process and they are overall great tools which can help in your game development process.